Okay, uh, welcome to the video. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. We're about to do an underway. It's gonna be a small underway, um, but it's pretty much the same thing throughout the video that you can get for deployment or any duration of underways. So we're gonna go into Walmart. I wasn't going to the commissary, but it is 10.30 tonight. You can see it. And uh, yeah, schedule this whole entire week has been crazy on the ship trying to get the ship underway. Um, for those of you that are watching this that will be going to a ship or own a ship now, you understand it or you will be understanding how crazy the ship life is. But we're gonna go in here. Some of the stuff I've already gotten, so it's not gonna be every single item, but uh, majority of it. Um, I'll just show you probably after we leave the store and just go over each piece, but. We's, uh, we's, we's gonna go into Walmart over here. And yeah. Get some stuff. She said she's so happy. Yeah. She swears she moved on. Yeah. But she still late night text me. Okay, so normally I would pick a lock. The combination locks are good and the key locks are good, but we already have plenty. But I would highly recommend grabbing a couple of those because you're gonna need them for your locker and for your um, for your rack. So we're not gonna get them now, but yep. where'd you get the double pack? You only have one key. Well, that's good for you. Your hurt and words don't burn like they used to. I'm like, good for you if you need to scream in my face. Telling me things have been so great. Well, that's cool. You seem so, so good. So good for you. Just a parking lot, a restaurant, I And I'll go over some other stuff as I'm putting it into the sea bag. I like to use the sea bag, one, because we're, we are required to have it on board. Two, you can put a lot of stuff in it. Um, and it's easy to carry all your stuff back on board. And it fits nicely inside your rack once you take everything out. And it's not like carrying a, um, a duffel bag or some type of suitcase that you don't have space for. So, recommend still using your sea bags. But um, when you're using your sea bags, don't forget you can roll them down the same way we do, make it into a square, and then just start building up and unrolling it as you're putting stuff on top of it. Yeah, oatmeal. These are the same oatmeal that I've been using. Um, the, uh, they used to be weight control, but protein and fiber, but just oatmeal just because it's good for breakfast time, snack time, and popcorn. Because you will have time later in the evening, see if you download movies, things like that, you can use it. Or if you just want a good snack. Got a bunch of tuna packets. Because um, the galley does not always have foods that you're going to like to eat. So these are good, one for a snack. And if you need to use them for a dinner, then you can. Uh, I'll probably drink this tomorrow. Um, while we're on station, so I just got that just because uh, they were on sale. Some more snack items, chips. What are another one? These are chips. Huh? Next to the white oh, chips. Oh, perfect. More chips. Okay. Uh, so supplements, um, it's good to put, I have a bunch of these packets, I'll put this in at the end, but it's good to have protein, whether you're on deployment or just going underway, have protein, snack, add to your meals, um, and then you can't work out on board if your gym is ready to go. So whatever supplements you're taking, if you take any, make sure you pack those. House. Uh, just so you know the fans 
Amazon, and I don't think that's going to be it shouldn't be too much of an issue. If the fan is an issue, then it's an issue. But, um, snacks. Right so I bought here. this little bag on Amazon. Really, really cool to torture you back. Um, I've had this, I actually bought it while I was on deployment. And super small, but it fits. You can hang it up while you're doing all the stuff that you need to do before you get a shower, things like that. But um, super, super cheap. If I can find it, I'll just link it down below in the description box. But I mean, as you see, like how small it is, but it, that's a full, full can of um, shaving cream, little thing of lotion, toothpaste, some face wash back there toothbrush, deodorant, and then also carries everything up here. Two razors and some extra razors up here and then some other small stuff. So I recommend getting one of these. That way all your stuff is not sitting on the counter because a lot of times those counters get wet. So make sure you got your torch, your items, and then make sure you have extras because like I was saying last night, extra toothpaste, deodorant, lotions, uh, whatever you're using for body wash and shampoos because you're either going to lose them, forget them in the shower, in the head, leave them out, people are going to steal them, things like that. So. Oh, and your brushes. Make sure you have a lot of your brushes. Got to keep them with teeth clean. Next, we'll put in our detergent. So, keep it simple. These pods, a lot better than having the liquids or the, the powders. They fit into your locker and things like that. They don't become a hassle for you. And you're going to need, you're going to want baby wipes. So make sure you have plenty of those. Foot spray. We all, we all wear boots every day, all day. So make sure you are uh, protecting your feet. Extra razors. And then these are just some stuff that we need around the ship or that I need for my workspace. So sandpaper, some caulking. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get hazmat items and it's hard to get those kind of items in the store for the ship to pay for so it's easier just to go ahead and take care of that. Um, I'm going to put this at the end but just some cleaner. That way your workspace smells good and your uh, your your living space smells good. Um, and then I have a hanger, I have a metal hanger. You can use plastic or metal but I like to hang up my towel and my, uh, my loofah or washcloth or whatever you're going to use on your locker so make sure you have something convenient like a hanger with you. Um, I gotta buy extra undershirts. Yeah. Shower shoes. So I have a pair in my rack right now but I'm gonna make these my primaries and then I'm going to use the ones that are in my rack now as as the secondary one. So got new shower shoes. Put that here, here. Light shawl spray. Yeah, we'll, we'll put all this around at the end. So, um, obviously make sure you have your uniform items, so your coveralls, uh, your end ups, and um, make sure you got boots, whether you have a couple pairs of boots or whatever, make sure you have boots. Um, I got plenty of extra socks because we're going to be sweating a lot. You're usually on station, you're doing a lot of stuff running around the ship, so you're going to be sweating and running around a lot more than a normal day to day. So I have plenty of socks, plenty of underwear, plenty of undershirts. Um, so I think I'll buy a pack of undershirts or two when we go to base to drop off the sea bag. But I'm just going to put the rest of the clothes in here. That's pretty much all that I need to um, need to do. Clothes, towel. Me. Yeah, so I got to fold. Got to fold the rest of some of these clothes that I have here that I'm going to be packing. And then, um, yeah, we're going to go pick up some stuff from the base and then we'll put it all on the ship. So, uh, we'll just, probably next time you see it, we'll be at the ship. All right, so it's kind of messy, but this is gonna be my locker. It's very, very small, smaller than your normal school locker, but I got this little shelf in here that I've had since deployment. I had to modify it a little bit, but um, my locker, and then I have a middle rack. So, a little bit of snacks. Uniforms, clothes, and I'm not putting anything here. We do have a drawer, nice size drawer. Dirty clothes will go back here whenever they fill up, and that's when I'll just wash them. Uniform item, towels, 
and shower stuff and shower shoes. Blanket, you need a blanket. Someone tried to steal your curtain. Yeah. Or you got. Because not a lot of these have curtains. Oh. So, like this right here, we're supposed to have a curtain out here. There's no curtain. Somebody stole it. Rude. See? So, uh, like I said, be a quick video. And if you have any questions about it, everything, let me know. This is our medical space. So a lot of things I keep here, um, I have like a small little locker that I can keep my snacks and some personal items. But I try to keep a lot of the uniform items inside of medical or inside my workspace because uh, they seem to disappear when it comes to birthing. If you have it hanging up, boots, um, items like that. So but yeah, only a couple of days. So uh, what you guys saw is what uh, I plan on having for the next couple of days. Pretty much everything is good to go. And I'll be here tomorrow morning, bright and early, and then we're going to take off, and uh, hopefully everything goes good, and uh, we'll see how the underway goes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you comment down below some more topics or some questions that you want me to answer uh, pertaining to this video or whatever video or any information about a comment or ship life that you want to know. And uh, give it a like. So I don't want to know how it goes if